because it's your wedding day, you want to look your best. My dress is strapless, and this right in there. I swear they make them smaller so that you're forced to want to lose weight. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. <laughs> it's not going to go crazy. It has to go because I got it up before. Okay, that's out. Meet Tracy. It's only six weeks till she walks down the aisle and her dress is rubbing her back raw. Can you have made it bigger? <laughs> I don't know. It, yeah. We're just being honest. Oh, I'm all red. <laughs> I knew that I was filling out a bit more, but I didn't realize. I should have got my dress a little later. Tracy's having trouble stuffing into that dress. Let's go help her. <laughs> Tommy, you're a personal trainer. Oh, my God. The Boma Nutrition Specialist. You got a tight fit, huh? Yes. Girls, how long did it take to get in? A while. You're going to need this. It's your food diary. Record everything you consume over the next week. OK. This is your workout gear. I'm terrified. <laughs> there is a lot that I need to do in the next few weeks. Till death do you part, right? Might not be that long. It's time for Tracy to cast out the cake and crank up the cardio. Somebody's been a bad girl. Or she'll remain a bulging bride. I'm so sorry, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> you gonna cheat again, Trace? I'm never gonna cheat again. I'll just wear my arms like this. Hold my flowers like this. This is absolutely the dress of my dreams. I'm hoping that miracles do happen. So where do you think we should start? You need to order flowers. Over the years, I've definitely noticed the weight slowly creeping on. Yum. Thank you very much. Dinners usually consist of us trying to fit the veggies in, but still getting all the pasta and everything we want. So usually we just stuff ourselves. <laughs> I call her the cookie monster because she eats a lot of cookies and they don't last very long in our house. I started playing slow pitch and everyone comes to the game with the beer and I've convinced my team to start packing the cooler with coolers for after the game because I like my sugar. No. Definitely I definitely need some help to uh, get into shape in time for my wedding. I'm Tommy Yura, personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Tracy's food diary showed us she dives into daily desserts in humongous portions of everything else. Tracy, welcome to your Isle of Shame. Your food diary? What a disaster. This platter is called Brutal Breakfast. You love your sugar cereals, your muffins, your croissants, you, those granola bars, 130 calories each. Pair that guy up with a muffin and you're at over 600 calories already. And the chocolate breakfast shakes? This is like a chocolate milkshake. Let's check out the next platter. All right. Mondo Menu. Yes. Yeah, this is what you ate in one day. This is one day. These two things alone, 1,700 calories just in your breakfast. Yikes. Then in this macaroni, another 1,000 calories of junk. Then we've got the nachos. Those are just like loaded with calories and fat. <laughs> OK. I call this sweet snacks, and you can see why. Yes, they are. This is one week of your snacking habits. That much chocolate milk? Two pounds of fat on your body in chocolate milk in a month. Oh, that's disgusting. You eat these before bed, two of those babies, 800 calories, and that's more than you should eat in one meal. This is becoming very depressing. <laughs> Let's see what all these bad eating habits have done to your body shape. Come on, Tommy's waiting. The fact that I had to show Nadine all of this food that I've been eating, it was really embarrassing. How you doing, Tracy? I'm doing all right. Today's going to be your shape analysis. Taking your measurements and your weight is going to be our starting point. Bust, 42 inches. 42. Yikes. Waist, 40. 40. Hips, 48. That's got to go down. OK, let's get you up on the scale. This is the worst part. Weight. 200 and two pounds. 
202, Tracy. You don't look surprised. My secret has been let out. Well, it's no longer a secret. Step off the scale. Five foot nine, dress size of 14, weight 202 pounds, body type is a pear shape. That's horrible. Well, we're here to help. Now let's go see our stylist, Jean, and get you into the dress. Hello. Hi. Shall we? Yes. Ooh, I can see already that it's quite tight. A little more, <laughs> a little more. How's the progress, ladies? Here she comes. All right. This dress, I actually really, really like on Tracy. The cut works well for her figure. It is a empire waist, which elongates the body, and it's an A-line, which means that it's fitted on top and it flares straight down to the bottom. But it's too tight. Do you see that it's spilling a little bit over top? And it's so tight in the hips and the waist that the boning is buckling a little bit. It really should just skim over the body, not hug the hips. And in the back, it's like quite a bit of spillage and it's so tight that it's even chafing her skin a little bit. It looks quite sore. Okay, we've got six weeks. Really have to attack your midsection. Giving yourself a nice tight core, you're gonna avoid all that buckling. We need to tone up through the arms and shoulders, losing some inches off your bust. Some will obviously come off your back as well. Do you vow to stick to your meal plan for the next six weeks, no cheating? I do. And do you vow to stick to your fitness plan, which will include some extra sessions? I do. We've got six weeks to do a complete overhaul on Tracy to get her into that dress. It's really scary to think that I have to make this lifestyle change. Otherwise, I mean, I won't be able to get on, into the dress on my wedding day. Tracy. Welcome to Tommy's Playground. Before you make it to the altar, you gotta go through me. We're gonna start kicking and screaming. Let's go. Pick those feet up. How you feeling, Trace? Not good. As our cardio improves, then we can ramp it up. Right now, it's not looking too good. Okay, Trace, time to walk the aisle. 10 burpees. The burpees are hard, and I hope that my aisle is nothing like that. How you feeling, Trace? Good, keep going, one more. Till death do you part, right? Might not be that long. Okay, Trace, time to throw the bouquet. Use your legs, more power, more power. After throwing that weight around the field, I'm definitely gonna get a small, reasonably sized, reasonably weighted bouquet. Cardio-wise, you need a lot of work. Everything needs an overhaul, and it's gonna be a little painful. A lot. You down? I'm in. I am really scared of what's to come in the next six weeks because I barely made it through that. Somebody's been a bad girl. Next, Tracy breaks her vows and gets what's coming to her. I hate you, Tracy. Oh, I'm all red. <laughs> Bulging bride Tracy is struggling to fit into a dress that's so tight, it's rubbing her back raw. I want this day to come <laughs> and I want the dress to fit. How you doing, Tracy? I'm doing good. You and Steve, big late night meals, sitting in front of the TV and chocolate milk. It's gotta stop. Many brides gain weight during the first few years of marriage. And right now you're right on pace for that. Take a look. Oh my God. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> If you were to gain three pounds a year over the next five years, you would weigh 217 pounds. It's gotta change. It definitely does. If it does, you could look like this. That's better. Well, to get to that, you gotta follow your meal plan and judging from the obstacle course, your cardio needs tons of work. Come on. Hold it here, keep your back straight, up. Straight up like that, kick the feet back, push up. It's all about activity now and get her moving, get her doing things, and just get her off the couch. Now this is gonna be really good for your glutes, really good for your legs, overall strengthening. She has exercised in the past, so it's not like it's new to her. It's just all the weight that she's carrying now makes it pretty tough to keep going. If I wanna get into my dress, 
then I'll have to keep meeting with Tommy and I will just have to find a way to get through this. I want her doing cardio four days a week. Between that, the meal plan and the resistance training, that should work very well for her. These are good for your glutes. Pretty soon you're gonna call it the Tommy muscle. It's not gonna be a pain in your ass. Tracy, welcome to your new food plan. This is an example of how you will be eating for the next six weeks. Breakfast, you like your chocolate shakes. What you're gonna have now is a homemade strawberry smoothie, half a cup of cottage cheese, one small non-fat yogurt, half a cup of strawberries, and three quarters cup water. Moving on to lunch, we have a half whole wheat pita, some salad in there, 10 baby carrots. You can have 100 grams of turkey. It's gonna be so hard to switch from all the sugar and carbs that I was eating to the protein and the vegetable. Dinner, look at that. That is a big dinner. You've got four ounces of chicken breast, zucchini, red pepper. You can have any grilled vegetables you want here. Half a yam, and look at that salad. That salad looks delicious. You've got that stag at coming up, mm -hmm. and there's probably a couple other parties that you're gonna be going to where you're not gonna be able to drink alcohol. So water's gonna be your new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try that. It's my stag head. It's once in a lifetime, and I really, I just, I want to have fun and enjoy myself. I know that my friends are going to have all of my favorite foods, hamburgers, chips, pop, <laughs> and lots to drink. So I'm really nervous to see how well I'll be able to resist the peer pressure of all those uh, yummy foods staring back at me. Tracy. Hi. Ladies, thanks for joining me. Somebody's been a bad girl. Not acceptable. Come with me. <laughs> Go! Use your hips, use your hips! The biggest problem for Tracy right now, she sees me twice a week. She's supposed to work out two to three times a week on her own. That's not happening, and it's very apparent in the workouts that I have with her. I'm so sorry, you guys. Yep. <laughs> Come on, ladies, push-ups, let's go. Get off those knees. That was way too hard. I'm never eating cake again. <laughs> Just kidding. Unless Tracy changes her attitude and figures out that she needs to work harder, uh, it's just not gonna work. You gonna cheat again, Trace? I'm never gonna cheat again. I hate you, Tracy. I'm pretty sure my friends will never be around and let me cheat ever again. Now, I will not tolerate any more cheating. If you do, you're gonna see me again. I won't be so nice. <laughs> Got it? Got it. I wanna be healthy and I wanna be fit. And that means getting in shape and I'm lucky to have Tommy's help. Up on the scale. Next, the midpoint weigh-in. Wait. I'm not happy with you. Bulging bride Tracy slipped up at her stagette and now has to face the consequences. Between my own wedding plans and my own job, it has just been so difficult to fit in time to go to the gym. How you doing, Tracy? Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Bust, 38 inches. All right, down four inches. <laughs> nice work. Wow. Waist, 37 inches. You've lost three inches off your waist. All right. Hips. 47. Down from 48, you've lost one inch. All right. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 100. 96 pounds. You've lost six pounds. I'm so happy to be under 200. <laughs> right on. Let's get you off the scale. You're down six pounds, eight inches. We still need a lot more to get into that dress. Yeah. You gotta do the cardio that I sent you. Lots of interval training in it. For extra motivation for Tracy, I'm sending her to Jean. She's got a summer wedding coming up and she's got different events that she has to go to so she needs a dress. Jean's got some great ideas. You have your rehearsal dinner, you have the wedding rehearsal, you got some places to go so I thought it would be nice to find a nice summer dress for you. She picked out really different styles, things I probably never would have gone for. Well, I love the detailing on top. It's balancing out your pear shape. But I find that 
This seam here hits you at the widest point of your hips. It makes you look maybe a little bit hippier than you actually are. Wanted to find something nice for her to wear, something relaxing, stylish, trendy, and fun. It's not doing up. Oh, and it's a little bit tight, I see, in the hips. Oh, that's a shame because I really love this dress on you. When I saw it on the hanger, it looked sort of shapeless. So when I put it on and it was sort of more fitted at the bottom and looser on the top, I, I really like that fit. It looks really good. I can see your curves. You have nice legs. Really? I've never been told that before. <laughs> Bravo, Tracy. Definitely the one. I agree. I can't believe you didn't order salad with me. I'm sorry, but I have salad all the time and I don't want to have salad. I wanted this pizza. I'm just feeling so stressed out. It feels like I'm not getting enough support with planning the wedding. I am starting to feel like I'm at my wit's end with the meal plan. It's so frustrating that she's sitting there and she's tiny and she's eating the pizza and it, and it really doesn't matter to her and it feels like nobody's supporting me on this. I've been very supportive. Everything is coming down to the wire and I know that I'm gonna have to wear my dress down the aisle before I know it. And it has to fit. And I don't know how many more nights I can eat salad. <laughs> We're going all the way across to the other side. Next, Steve dives in to support his bride-to-be. Wait, and the final numbers are in. Welcome to your new food plan. Tracy has been learning a whole new set of rules for health and fitness while shaping up for her wedding day. I might not look good in the dress at the end of the six weeks. That's really scary. Tracy? Hi. Steve, Tracy's been working very hard these past six weeks, so you're gonna get a little taste of what she's been up to. Excellent. We're going all the way across to the other side, to the beach. Let's get going. I wanted to make her do something where she was using her upper body, using her core, because her dress, it's really tight up at the top and at the back. How you doing back there, Trace? I wish I didn't work my arms yesterday. Keep going. When Tommy pointed all the way down to the island, <laughs> yeah, it had me scared from the beginning. It's hard working today. It's gonna be just what Tracy needs to fit into that dress. If she continues to just stay disciplined and keep on it, and it would be great if Steve joins her. And I think he's definitely the kind of guy uh, to do that. How you doing, Trace? My arms are burning. Keep paddling, we're almost there. Really? Thank God. You guys are doing great, come on. Keep going, go hard, go hard, go hard, go hard. <sighs> nice work, nice work. Woo. So how's that? I feel like I'm already a lot more fit than I was at the beginning. And I can just do more than, than I could because I believe that I can do it. Believing in it, committing yourself to it, doing what you can to achieve your goals is what it's all about. I'm definitely impressed with Tracy's uh, work. She's worked really hard over the last couple of weeks. We worked hard for this view. We might as well enjoy it. Came all the way from over there. Final weigh-in time. I'm terrified. Bust, 38 inches. Down four inches. That's good, I didn't want to lose anything else there. <laughs> Waist, 37. You're down a total of three inches. Hips, 46. All right. Down two inches. That's where I needed it most. Well, let's get you up on the scale. All right. Weight. 100. 90 pounds. That's great. You lost 12 pounds. Congratulations. You worked hard for those 12. <laughs> Can't believe it? No. So nine inches, 12 pounds. Let's see how that helps you fit into the dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was really fast. I invited a couple of Tracy's friends to get a sneak peek before the wedding. <laughs> Surprise! Hi! <laughs> well, I awesome. can't believe you guys are here. How do you feel? I feel great. 
Well, you look great. Well, in the very beginning, the zipper could barely do up. Now the zipper goes up, no problem. It's very, very smooth here from top to bottom. And in the back, it's completely smooth back and it's not sort of rubbing or chafing up against your skin. It's not irritating your skin. It's beautiful. Well done. Tracy, you look great. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. I feel like a million dollars in my dress today. Um, it fits me exactly how I hoped it would, and I feel beautiful. It was, it was all worth it. I could tell she worked really, really hard, and we tried it on, and the zipper went up with no problem, and I'm so proud of her. It looks beautiful. Tracy's happy with the body she has now. She's getting ready to walk down that aisle with Steve, and uh, I wish them nothing but the best. Tracy learned a whole new way of life with healthy eating and plenty of exercise. She lost 12 pounds and nine inches, looks beautiful, and is ready to walk down the aisle. I worked really hard for six weeks, and I'm really happy with what I did. This is definitely a lifestyle change for me. This is who I want to be, and now, and now I feel, finally feel like I'm being true to myself and just in time.